another episode of Kids Life. I am Teacher Truthy. I'm Teacher Nicole and this is Coco. And we are so happy to see you this morning. Are you ready for Kids Life today, little ones? If you are, give me a thumbs up. All right, I think they are ready, Teacher Nicole. Great. Let's start by first doing some warm-up. Let's put our hands together like this and we'll pretend that our hands is a fish. So move it. Now let's swim to the right. Then let's swim to the left. Then let's swim forward. Then let's swim upward. Great job! Great job, little ones! Now, let's prepare our hearts and our minds for the rest of our Kids Life episode through our praise and worship song. He is the light. He is the 
Thank you for singing along, little ones. Now, it's time for our memory verse with Teacher Nicole. Hi, little ones. It's time to do our memory verse. And where do we get our memory verses again? That's right. We get our memory verses from the Bible, the Word of God. Our memory verse for today is found in the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 8. Live as children of light. Let me show it to you again. Live as children of light. Now let's say and sign our memory verse together. Are you ready? Okay. Ephesians 5, 8. Live as children of the light. Now it's your turn to say and sign the memory. Ephesians 5, 8. Live as children of the light. In the book of Ephesians, Chapter 5, verse 8. Live as a children of light. Great job, little ones. Now let's listen to Teacher Trudy as she tells us about our Bible story for today. Hi kids, it's now time for our Bible lesson. And today, we will be learning about living in the light. Do you remember Ezra? Ezra was a follower of God who taught the people of Israel how to live to please God, how to show God that we love Him, and that is called living in the light. When we do things that please God, we walk in the light, and God's Word teaches us how we can please Him. But when we do things that are wrong, that is called living in darkness. God tells us to follow and obey Him. He calls us to live in the light, and He will help us to do so. So how can we do that? Let's look at some examples together. So for our examples, we have two faces. A happy face that shows us that we are living in the light, and a sad face to show us that we are not living in the light. So we'll use these two faces to go through the examples together. So our first example is lying. Is lying living in the light? Happy face or sad face? You're right, sad face. Lying is not living in the light. The Bible teaches us that lying is wrong. Our next example is obeying our parents. Is obeying our parents living in the light? Happy face or sad face? You're right, happy face. Obeying our parents is living in the light. Ephesians 6 verse 1 says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Next, is pushing someone living in the light? Happy face or sad face? You're right, it is not living in the light. God tells us that we should love one another. And pushing other people is not showing them that we love them. Our last example is being kind. Is being kind living in the light? Happy face or sad face? Correct! Happy face! Being kind is living in the light. Jesus himself showed us how to be kind. He was kind to others by showing them His love and by teaching them about God's Word. We can do that too. 
we can follow Jesus and live in the light. Excellent job, kids! Those are great examples of choosing to live in the light and not in darkness. Like our Bible verse says in Ephesians 5 verse 8, Live as children of the light. Let's now pray and ask God to help us to live in the light, to live according to His Word. Now, let's put our hands together, close our eyes, and bow our heads. These hands are praying, praying, praying. These hands are praying just like this. Dear Jesus, thank you for teaching us how to live in the light. Thank you for giving us your word, which tells us how we can live in the light, how we can obey you, how we can please you, how we can show you that we love you. Thank you, Jesus, for loving us so much and for helping us to do what is right and to live in the light. Please help us as well to teach our friends how they can also live in the light. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. For our craft today, we will be making a special candle. Coco, can you show it to them? It's a special candle because you can open it up like this. This candle will remind us that we can live as children of light. Now let's get started. To make our special candle, you will need paper, scissors, crayons, and coloring pens. Step 1. Cut the paper in half. Step 2. Make two folds. Step 3. Draw a candle. Step 4. Open the folds. Then draw or write how you can live as a child of light. Step 5. Color and decorate your work. Awesome work! Send us a picture of your craft so that we can feature it in our next Kids Life episode. Hi, little ones! Were you able to memorize our memory verse for today? Were you also able to make our craft for today? If you said yes to either one of those, we would love to hear from you. You may send us a video of you reciting our memory verse or a picture of you and your craft and we will feature you in our next Kids Life episode. You may send them at kidslife at gcf.org.ph Hello again, little ones. Did you enjoy today's episode? If you did, let's say hip hip hooray! Can you do it with Coco? Hip hip hooray! Good job! Teacher Nicole, Coco and I are so glad that you're here with us today. And we can't wait to see you again next Saturday. We pray that you will always remember that Jesus loves you so much and that He is always with you. And as His children, let's do our best to live in the light, to always do what pleases God. See you in the next episode, little ones. God bless you and goodbye! Goodbye! Goodbye!